Hello guys, welcome to another video here with me Ziad Snusi. Uh, so we are uh, still covering the uh, flight performance and mechanics, flight kinks and performance uh, lectures. And now we need to discuss some uh, statement here, as you can see here. <coughs> Here we have minimum drag doesn't change with altitude. Is this statement is true or false? This statement is true. Why is this? We need to investigate this. Okay. We call this curve here. This curve is uh, the relation between the velocity and the drag force, which is in newton or some or pound in uh, English units. Okay. We have here the stall limit C. Okay, and this is the total drag. We are interested in total drag here. We need to see when it is minimum, uh, whether the minimum drag is function of altitude or not. We need to see it's not function of altitude. We will see now. Okay, this we call this curve is induced drag. Induced, sorry, <coughs> induced, induced drag. Drag. Okay, this due this. Uh, this uh, drag component is due to lift force. Okay, uh, it's function of velocity. Uh, when the velocity goes uh, goes faster, goes uh, bigger, this will eliminate it and goes to zero. And this is the parasite drag. Call this parasite parasite drag. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. <coughs> First, we, we need to write the drag formula. This is the drag formula, which is equal to half rho v square s times cd. It's a very famous drag formula. Um, this uh, rho is the, is the density, the velocity is uh, surface area, and this is the coefficient of drag, the cd. Okay? Okay. So, just focus on this curve. Or let me uh, draw it again here. This is the velocity and this is the drag force, drag, and this roughly is the drag curve, okay? So it uh, looks like a, a parabolic equation, second order equation, okay? Because it's function of v square, okay? So it has only one uh, global minimum, or it's local, it's the same time it's global. So in order to solve this optimization problem, you need to differentiate this. Uh, equation this uh, equation of drag with respect to v uh, differentiate with respect to v and equate it to zero and find out v minimum drag and substitute it back here in this equation to find the minimum drag okay let's see how so at this point here it's minimum here so this v minimum drag okay we need to look for this and this d minimum which we are interested in to solve this whether the minimum drag is changing with altitude or not, okay? Okay. So now we need to differentiate the drag with respect to V and equate it to zero and find out V minimum drag. Okay? Okay. Let's write it again. The equation of drag. And we know from the performance dynamic performance equation, this CD is equal to some constant plus PCL square. This coefficient and this this is called the induced drag. Uh, sorry, it's parasite drag. This one, which make this curve this here, and this one is called induced drag, uh, induced uh, induced drag coefficient, and this parasite drag coefficient. It's also denoted as CD0 and this CDI. Some references, okay? Let's make it simple and take this equation. Just keep in mind th that A and B is constant, okay? So we stop cute here. We have uh, for V square is A plus B C L square, okay? Okay. Just make it now. S A plus B square S B C L square just 
multiply this into these two two factors here, two expressions. Okay. Okay. That's the drag force. We know when the aircraft is, we assume the aircraft is flight is a uh, flight and steady level flight. Okay. So this thrust will equal to drag and lift will equal to weight. Okay. So we we'll need just the vertical axis weight this equal to half rho v square s times cl this equation of uh, lift will equal to weight and from this we find that cl will be equal to w over rho s v square okay so this will be substituted here in this equation okay we lift of with we lift with uh, this drag will be equal to half rho v square s times a plus 2b w square over 2b w square over rho s v square rho s v square okay okay now, as I said, we need to differentiate drag with respect to V and equate to zero. So, d, 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 d with respect to dV will equal to zero will equal to rho s a v minus four b w square over rho s v cube. Okay, it's very straightforward. So rho is AV <coughs> equal to 4B W square over rho is V cube. We multiply both sides. We, we have this term here. Multiply by this and get this here. So V to the power 4 will be equal to 4B W square over square root of, sorry, sorry. Square is square a. Okay, so we take the square root for this. And we get v square will be two square root of b w over rho is square root of a. And we take the square root again to find out the minimum drag. Okay, to equal to square root of two w square root of b over rho is square root of a and this very famous formula for the minimum drag okay okay let's zoom out for a minute okay let's keep writing here Now we find we find out this v minimum drag. We need to substitute it back in the drag formula, okay, to find the the, the minimum drag, because the drag formula is half rho v square s times c d. So minimum drag will 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 use v minimum drag. So d minimum will be half rho v square minimum drag. Okay, it's very clear. S times c d. Okay. Rho v sorry uh, is times C D times this one squared so it will be two W square root of B over rho is square root of A. Okay, it's very clear. <coughs> so after some uh, calculations left with V minimum drag will be equal to W square root of B over square root of A times a plus b c l squared okay uh, we need to use this equation here this left equation in order to use it here we need to use it here in c l okay so this will give me uh, sorry we need to use this equation c l let me write it again 2 w over rho s <coughs> V square 
we need to find C L minimum drag in order to use it here to find C D minimum. So C L minimum drag. Okay. Will equal to two W over row S V square minimum drag. Okay. So we need to use this V minimum drag again here. We get C L minimum drag. Okay. So two W row S. 2w square root of b over row s square root of a. This goes with this 2w with this. So left of wood square root of a over square root of b. Okay. So this is the final uh, final step here. We need to use this relation and to this. Okay. And we find the result. Final result. Okay. Right here. Okay, so so the minimum drag w squared b over squared a a plus b c l squared and c l squared a over squared b and square so it will be a over b b goes with b w squared b over squared a this goes to a so this with this because this is square root of a times square root of a, so that this with this, so w square root of b, square root of a. I didn't miss anything. Okay, this is the final answer. Let's make it again here, a times b. So this is the minimum drag. As we said earlier, that a is constant and b is constant, this also denotes as cd0. Par side drag coefficient and this induced drag coefficient it's due to lift okay so all these coefficients and w is the weight of the aircraft so it's coefficient so there's no row here there's no density in this equation so the minimum drag is not a function of altitude because the altitude is a function of density as you go up in the altitude the density which is rho will go down okay function of this so the minimum drag is not function of this so this statement here this statement here which is um, as I said in the, in the in the beginning of this video the minimum drag is not changed with altitude it's a true okay okay thank you for watching I hope this video is helpful for you you find it's very helpful for you if you have any uh, problems or comments or discussions um, about these please leave it in the comment section below and thank you for watching see you next time